Check us out in Spanish at Universos Abiertos. From cute and cuddly animals to some of the biggest ones, here are the scariest animals on Earth you definitely want to run away from if you can. If you like the video, click the subscribe button and in the comments tell us what is your favorite animal? Remember Ned is somewhere in the video. Comment when you see our mascot. Number 9. The Amazon Assassin Bugs If the name does not make you want to run the other way, then the information about them may. These little critters are found in the Amazon rainforest and they look like any other bug that you can find in your backyard or maybe home. Their colors vary from brown to black and speckles of red or orange can be seen. These gentle and passive insects have a large bottom, narrow neck, long legs, and a prominent mouth. Although the descriptions or the physical characteristics sound like a model, their hunting instincts will take down a prey even larger than them, using their prominent mouth to inject the venom into their unsuspected prey melting the inners so the assassin bug can easily drink it. Now, if harassed, this bug will retaliate by injecting its venom, potentially causing anywhere from redness to the bitten area to anaphylactic shock or worse, Changa's disease. These not-so-friendly bugs do have other cousins that live in the United States and Latin America, so you may know them by the name of kissing bug or cone nose bugs. They are plainer looking than the assassins of the rainforest and find it very attractive to be near humans and warm-blooded animals because of the odor and warm body temperatures. The dead toll, over 18 million people have been bitten and of those, 14,000 dying of it every year. Number 8. African Cape Buffalo when you think of a buffalo, you may think of a large, short horn and gorgeous buffaloes roaming the hills and savannas of Yellowstone Park or somewhere in a prairie with cows used for meat and milk. But what we think is a buffalo in the Americas is actually a bison. The dangerous animal we're talking about is the African Cape Buffalo. Such massive bodies and large horns will be a defense mechanism against predators such as the African lions or hyenas. Such majestic size almost leads you to think of a gentle giant that wins over its potential predator by sheer size. With its massive height and weight of about 2,000 pounds, there should be no need to have a worry in the world. But instead, the Cape Buffalo is known for charging without provocation to anyone who gets near. The not-so-gentle giant can run up to speeds of about 40 miles per hour, faster than the speed limit in any inner city. They are so strong and hot-tempered that there are reports of Cape Buffaloes charging cars and lions even if they are very hurt and holding on to life by the threat. Number 7. Siafu Ants of the Equatorial Africa You probably have heard of fire ants. These little ones are found in many parts of the world and the bite is painful for a couple of days, burning the skin and leaving a mark wherever it bites. But Siafu Ants? They're even meaner and more dangerous. Siafu Ants are also known as driver ants or by the locals in Africa, blind deadly machines. These little critters are very, very deadly. It is actually said that if you fall asleep in their path or by their nest, well, say goodbye to a joyful life. They're known for eating everything that gets in their way. The ants move like one entity. If you are so unlucky to walk in the beautiful and breathless equatorial Africa and happen to step on one of the driver ants, well, over 50 million of its relatives will come and literally make you suffer for it. They will bite and release formic acid, entering the organs and choking you and leaving you half done holding on for dear life. Do you remember the episode of Indiana Jones where an 
ant army of such large ants ate one of the bad guys in about a couple of minutes? Well, not so fast with the real Siafu ants. They will actually have what is known as the ant attack down to a science. They will skeletonize a full-size human or large animal in less than five hours. Number six, the Brazilian wandering spider. Also known by its less terrifying name, the banana spider, this Brazilian wandering spider can be found in tropical areas of Central and South America. This little wandering spider likes to sunbathe and enjoy the warmth and humid air of the tropical paradise where it lives and can be found lodging in cars, homes, and yes, banana trees. This tiny but immensely dangerous critter has topped the Guinness Book of World Records as the deadliest and most venomous spider in the world. This tropical danger machine is not aggressive, but does protect itself quite well when needed. Nine out of ten times, the spider will actually inject its venom if threatened. The venom injected into its victim can cause loss of oxygen, leaving the person or animal paralyzed, losing control of his muscles, creating inflammation and severe pain, and finally resulting on the person or animal's demise or possible lasting health challenges. Positive side, science is using its powerful venom to investigate new cures for issues such as erectile dysfunction. Number five, lion's mane jellyfish of the northern parts of the world. You may have gone to the beach and had the unfortunate luck of swimming into a Portuguese man of war or even a small and transparent gelatinous creature like the jellyfish and hopefully have been not stung by it. If you have, then you know there is a heating level of pain, not fun for a vacation trip to the beach. However, there are parts of the world where people like to go and swim with jellyfish. Some regions like the Pacific Islands have jellyfish that are harmless. They don't have natural predators, so no need to protect themselves. For some people, swimming with the jellyfish is like being reminded of the lightness and relaxing feeling of letting go. Letting the waves take you to whatever they may. No worries, no time frame, no wait. Now, imagine, on the other side, a gigantic version of the jellyfish and add some nasty chemicals that can seriously do some damage. This animal might as well come from a time before where giants ruled the world. Lion's mane jellyfish fits the criteria for massively large and dangerous. Found in the frigid waters of the Arctic and northern parts of the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, where the waters remain cold all year round, the lion's mane looks like its name a mass of furry-looking gelatin that seems to float in a relaxed cadence with no hurry to get anywhere. There are some similar species in the southern part of the world. In Massachusetts, for example, a young man found one larger than a small sedan car with tentacles that measure the size of a cargo truck. This was in the 1870s, and I am sure few more had made the news in many other shores in Australia and the Pacific Islands. Number four, bull sharks in Australia. Remember in the movie Jaws, where the shark ate all kinds of people and frightened the world? Well, because of that movie, people started to believe that the great white sharks were aggressive, territorial, and indiscriminate killers. The reality is the total opposite of what the movie wanted you to believe. White sharks look like mean human eating machines with a double row of ever-shedding teeth but they are not the most dangerous of the almost 500 species in the shark family. Actually, at the top of the list is the bull shark. In Africa, the bull shark is known as the Sambesi or Sambi. It sounds cute, but being longer than an Australian crocodile and are the most aggressive, meanest, and they will actually take what they want, even if it's in land. In a particular incident in Australia, a crocodile was blamed for attacking a horse. The investigation indicated that a horse trainer was rehabilitating his horse in a river. Yes, you heard well, a river, no salt water nearby. 
when something bit the horse leaving bite marks that were later identified as bull shark bites. The bull shark had adapted so well to their environment that during floods in Australia, bull sharks passed the flooded levees that failed to keep the salty water away from the land, and the bull sharks, adaptable critters that they are, started growing and reproducing in rivers and lakes. The sighting of bull sharks have been a global phenomenon that includes Lake Michigan as one of the hosting freshwater homes for animals you want to avoid. Number 3. Hyenas in West Africa This furry African inhabitant of the Havanas lives among the more majestic lions, rhinos, and zebras, as well as the Cape Buffalo mentioned earlier. Hyenas are best known for their peculiar way of communicating with other hyenas. They look like they're laughing at a joke that only they can understand. Besides the laughable speech, hyenas are very unique animals. They look like a hybrid gone wrong between a long-haired dog, a big cat like a leopard, and a fat little horse. But don't be fooled by their cuteness. They're avid hunters and scavengers and will bully a lion or leopard into giving them their half-eaten meal. But what makes them very dangerous is that hyenas have been seen scavenging human remains, an example being after a battle or war developing a taste for the softer flesh of humans and, if needed, circling nearby villages, going after humans and their animals that can be easier targets than the more common and wilder sources of nourishment. Number 2. Africanized Honeybees As we have been hearing in the news in the last couple of years, honeybees have been plummeting in numbers and threatening pollination and, therefore, the food availability of the entire world. Therefore, worldwide, honeybees have been placed in the endangered lists and campaigns have been in place to protect them from pesticides and non-natural predators. There are actually many species of bees. They may be European, Asian, or African, but none are native to the Americas. They were actually brought from Europe by farmers in the early 1600s. As more and more awareness to protect the honeybees rises, the concern about subspecies such as the Africanized bees climbs as well. The reason for this is their behavior and honey production. Although no more aggressive than the gentle honeybees, the Africanized counterparts will not think twice about pursuing and attacking anything perceived as a threat. In the haste of the chase, the entire colony of Africanized bees will swarm away, abandoning the hive. There have been reports of animals and people being chased over long distances and seriously harmed, not because of the venom being stronger than the honeybee, but because of the amount of bees swarming and stinging together. Number 1. Saltwater Cone Snail I am sure you have seen the cone snail before. Usually when you go to the flea markets near the beach and shells are being sold as pieces of jewelry or simply to be displayed in their natural glory. The cone snail, another sea creature to be wary of, tops the chart in deadly cuteness. Cone snails can be found in all tropical and subtropical regions, living in the sand, under a rock, or coral reefs. Cone snails are unique in that they hunt small fish, sea worms, and even other cone snails. Using a harpoon-like rodula that they use to hunt their prey, paralyzing them before engulfing them into a meal. The venom used can be deadly depending on the size of the cone snail. In the larger species, one drop of its poisonous venom can take down over 20 humans or large animals. So be careful next time you want to go and grab a snail. They're cute, but dangerous. Positive side, there is a lot of research being done to study the pharmaceutical uses of this neurotoxin. Animals to avoid discovered. What else should we explore? Let me know and click the like button. Thank you again for watching.